Today we're going to talk about um, Subaru tuning. This is a 2013 Subaru STI, and we're going to be using HV tuners. Um, I just kind of want to go over right away. Um, so right off the bat, you know, these factory files. Sorry, this is the wrong one. I got to switch over to the other one. This is the stock file. So right away, um, you'll see in the airflow, in general, the MAF calibration. This is the only thing that's in here. Um, so MAF cal is the thing that's connected to your intake. Usually, it's right you know it's right in front of the intake. The only time you really need to change this is when you have a camshaft or you run a bigger intake. Um, so on and so forth, or if you, you know, if you have a really big turbo, you can uh, max these values out to where this math curve wouldn't be able to um, run all the way up to where it needed to go. So then at that point, you would need to switch to uh, speed density. And um, that's pretty easy to do in HP tuners. HP tuners has came up with a uh, custom operating system for these Subarus. So you would just apply this code and it would automatically apply the extended data stream as well. So if you just hit this and then you would file, save as something other than this file, close the file out and then reopen it. Um, you will need to be cook, cook connected, sorry, to the internet to read the file and flash the file. Um, but anyways, uh, just going back to what I was talking about. So this is the regular file here and we're under airflow in general. You only have, um, you know, your, your math calibration here, which there's absolutely nothing, nothing wrong with this. I think that, um, you know, a lot of these guys can probably get 22 pounds. You know, you can max your stock turbocharger and stuff out on the factory math cal. So there's no reason, you know, to go away with this unless, you know, you're doing something that you need to get away from the math completely. Um, so on the uh, extended or OS, when you open this file up, you have a general here, which allows launch control and no shift, no lift shifts, um, which I think is a big thing in uh, Cobb tuning and body blah, you know. And then you also have now, when you open Airflow, you have the math cal here, but you also have the main VE here, and you have a primary VE table. So, and the primary VE table, you, you can usually never max this out. So, like if you're running max boost and have the biggest turbo and bigger injectors and fuel pumps and a camshaft, this is the uh, you're going to want to run on. Um, and H2 tuners is also cool because it allows you to run the math and the speed density or just speed density, depending on what you're doing that, you know, usually I would think that the only time you could do this is if you um, had like a really big cam on the car and you couldn't, you know, get it perfect with the uh, um, SD, then you could uh, blend them. Um, but anyways, moving on. Um, in some of these cars, the OS will um, allow you flex fuel as well. And I'm not, I don't know which ones. Uh, it just depends on the operating system. Like this is a 2013 SDI. I would have thought this one would have had it in it, but um, it's looking like it doesn't. But anyways, uh, this, you know, is gonna allow you to pretty much do everything that, um, Cobb is allowing it to do. So I think that people are kind of overpaying for Cobb and they need to start running HV tuners in there. They're Subarus. Uh, 